I'm at AJ's Fine Foods in Tucson, Arizona. Thought I'd come down here today to check out their summer wine spectacular, and it truly is spectacular. There are a large number of value and great quality wines here. Hi, I'm Jim Cedar, editor and publisher of the Wine Inquirer, and who better to turn to than the wine cellar manager, in fact, cellar manager of the year that he proudly displays on his, uh, on his shirt, to talk a little bit about this spectacular, what it's all about, and what you can look forward to. So, I'll turn it to you, Kevin. Hello, my name is Kevin Anderson, and I am the cellar master here at AJ's Fine Foods at La Encantada in Tucson, Arizona. And we're going to talk today about our summer wine spectacular. Just a brief history, if you don't mind. Uh, this marks almost 25 years that we've been doing this program. What it entails is we go out of our way to find 40 plus wines that will be value priced. Now, just so you know, here in Arizona in the summer, business sort of slows down. As you know, the uh, tourist high ebbs pretty dramatically in the summer. And so the distributors are in a position where they are looking for an opportunity to deal. And so we go to them and we say, bring us your best shots. Show us things you have in the book, things that you have available at excellent pricing that we can offer to our customers. And as in the past, this year we tasted nearly 300 wines. Uh, all of these wines are going to end up on our shelves in these displays somewhere between $6.99 and $12.99. Now, I will tell you, as you peruse the selection, you will see that there are some dramatic savings on many of these wines. And in fact, let me start by showing you uh, one of the wines that I think is going to be a big hit this summer. The reason I think it's going to be a big hit this summer is because it was our number one selling wine last summer. So, uh, sort of a return champion, if you will, and that's the Morasso Malbec from Mendoza, Argentina. Now, I always tell people that everything in the wine and spirits world is all about fads and fashion. And there is no question right now that one of the hottest categories are the Malbecs from Argentina. Now, Malbec, for the most part, is a wine that you think of one of the blending grapes from Bordeaux. But for whatever reason, when this wine migrated to Argentina, it really became their signature red wine. Everybody who's anybody in Argentina puts out a Malbec. Uh, they drink not dissimilar to a Cabernet. They remind people of, of uh, the Bordeaux. Obviously, they are part of the Bordeaux package, if you will. But in uh, Argentina, they tend to be varietally late. So last year, the most popular wine in the entire program was the Morasso Malbec. It's making its return this year. Uh, that's priced right now at $8.99. So a phenomenal uh, price on that as well. Uh, the Mendoza uh, Malbecs price anywhere from about normally $11.99 up into the 30s. So uh, to get this one is a remarkable deal at $8.99. Once again, expect sort of uh, soft tannins, supple, velvet, uh, the richness, the ripeness, the full body texture and flavor of Cabernet but with a little bit more of a nuance to it. And what, you, what yeah. would you do with this in terms of preparing the food? Well, I'm guessing that more than a few people will be barbecuing this summer. And if you know anything about the Argentine diet, it's all about heat. Uh, so if you're going to be uh, grilling something out there on the patio, I would recommend you consider one of the Malbecs to go with it. In addition to this Malbec, we have a few other wines that are blends that involve Malbec as well including our Cosita blend uh, from La Costa, and we have some other wines uh, that we'll be showing you here in a few minutes. So anyway, uh, as one consideration, take a look at that Morasso uh, Malbec. Great. Why don't you show us what's, uh, what's second on the hip parade? All right. Let's uh, go over here for a moment, if you will. See, this is fun for me because he has to do most of the talking, and I just enjoy listening. All right. I have a prediction. I got my magic eight ball out and I said, what's going to be the biggest hit of the entire Weimar Wine uh, Summer Spectacular? And I truly believe it's going to be this little wine right here, which is called uh, Coto de Languedoc Picu de Penay. Now I've got news for you. Most of you have never had a Picu de Penay. Picu is the name of the grape. Pinay is the place. The Languedoc is the Mediterranean coast of France. It's, uh, it's essentially everything on the Mediterranean coast uh, from the Rhone River over to the Pyrenees. 
Uh, this particular grape, Pictoul, is indigenous to the Languedoc. By the way, the Languedoc uh, literally translates to mean the place where they speak the language of yes. So who doesn't want a wine from the place that they speak the language of yes? Uh, Pictoul, by the way, is interesting in and of itself because it translates to mean lip stinger. And for me, the first time I tasted this wine, I went, oh my gosh, people are going to fall in love with this. If there was ever a patio white wine, a summer white wine, a wine that just screamed Arizona, it's this Pictoul de Panay. When you get it in your mouth, expect uh, a zesty, zippy, zingy, acidic, laced, crisp, dry, white wine. I tell people, if you like Sauvignon Blanc, if you like New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, go to the movie Spinal Tap, think about when they turn the amp up to 11. That's kind of what this uh, Picul de Panay is. It's uh, supercharged, crisp, acidic, refreshing, delightful, and I gotta tell you, one glass of this, you're going to think you're sitting at the side of the pool with your feet dangling in the water. Well, this is also uh, one of the grapes, isn't it, Kevin, that goes into the, the, the blend of the white chat and the It could well. be one. It is a, it, it, it could be. Uh, and uh, it's a wine that if I was going to recommend it as a pairing for anything, if you're grilling fish this summer, this is the wine for that. So now, is there light, a, specific, a, a specific type of a fish, per se? Does it need to be a, a very light, flaky fish, or could you do this with a, oh, you with know, a more oily fish? You could do it with a more oily fish. I see this with one of the steak fishes, so like a halibut, Chilean sea bass, you know, one of those. Something with a little bit of texture to it, something with a little bit of meat behind the fish, if you will. Uh, and it's, once again, you haven't had a Pico de Pene, I'm willing to bet, up until this moment. Everybody that we've turned on to this has come back and said, holy cow, that was just uh, not what I expected, and they're buying six bottles. By the way, on the Summer Spectacular, if you mix and match, and if you buy six bottles, you get an additional 10% discount on top of their already uh, discounted prices. So it's a great opportunity. We tell people what they should do is, you come in and you test drive the wines the first week, you come back and you kind of uh, take a position on the wines you love the second week. So, Sounds like an investment for me. You bet. So come on over, I want to show you one more wine over here that I think could be a big thing. People ask me all the time, what's your favorite wine? And my answer always is, you know, you can't answer that question. It's like asking a parent who their favorite child is. And no parent wants to answer that question. Well, actually, I will. My favorite child is Kaylin Nicole. Of course, she's my only daughter. So, you know, she's in a position where uh, I, I can definitely answer that question. But when it comes to wine, it's hard to say, this is my favorite wine. But if I had a category that I like the most, it's going to be the wines that are Rhone-inspired or from the Rhone Valley in France. These are wines that are just perfect with food. They're usually blends. They are often uh, made with Syrah, Grenache, Mavedra, and up to, uh, you know, I, I, up to a dozen other grapes can actually be part of that mix. Uh, this A by Acacia is from the Acacia Winery out of California. They're known mostly for their Canero sub products. They make Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. They expanded the line and this A by Acacia is part of the uh, lineup and what they've done is gone outside Caneros and most of this comes from the Monterey area and this is a Syrah uh, blend and it is absolutely delightful. Once again at $9.99 how I would describe this wine rich, ripe, full body, very little tannic acid. It is not one of those wines with any astringency, no bitterness to it at all. Rich and ripe, luscious. What you're going to do with this, you're going to serve it with any kind of grilled food. You could have kebabs outside. You could have burgers even with this one. It's a wine. It's unpretentious. It's ready to drink now. And like most of our summer spectacular wines, we selected these wines not as wines that we intend for you to take home, put in your cellar, and drink 10 years from now. These are wines for the here and now. Buy them. Enjoy them this summer. Enjoy them with company. Enjoy them on the patio. Enjoy them by the pool. Uh, they're easy to drink, ready to go, and priced 
to buy. Well, there you go. 40 wines for the summer. The summer spectacular. Great value. Great quality from all around the world. Come on down and enjoy. Now, at, at all times when you come down here, if I'm not here to speak to you, we have one of our wine stewards on the floor. We're delighted, happy to talk to you about the wines we've tasted. And yes, we have tasted these wines. So if you want any unsolicited opinions, we're only too happy to jump in and uh, tell you what we think of these wines. So we hope we'll see you down here at AJ's Fine Foods sometime this summer. Come on down.